Hey, hey, fine people. Thanks for checking out my video. Appreciates it. If you likes what you sees, please hit the like and subscribe button. Welcome. Journey. Entering. Let's go. So what inspired you to go habit wise? What, what, what was it that what, that really was like habits is what you have to I have to focus on. This is it. And then the law of compounding with that to create the success that you have in your life and so much more. So habits were always I didn't really use the word habits, but it was always something. So even going way back in the day to when I first started kind of keeping track and trying to modify my behavior, Ben Franklin, um, you know, a couple hundred years ago came up with he called it the 13 virtues chart and he literally had a chart down the spine and had he called them virtues which i now call habits um of the things that he wanted to change in his life and and to make sure that he was doing properly that he knew would lead to his happiness and best love and then along the top was a monday tuesday wednesday basically the seven days of the week and he would use his chart and he would go through every day and he would just check off if he did it or if he didn't. And that was his way of holding himself accountable. And I just really, that just resonated with me. And I kept my own chart. I still have it today on my vision board as we speak. Um, the original one that I drew out all, 20, probably 25 years ago that I would just make copies of. And then each week I would go through it. And that evolved into evolved into a Microsoft Word document that got a little bit more detailed. And then it was an Excel, Excel spreadsheet. And now it's evolving and evolved into this app that I'm developing that I'm trying to reduce the friction to make it fun and exciting and gamify the process so that everybody will want to take these habits, will want to level up their life versus like, ah, oh, this is annoying. This feels like homework. This is too hard. I'm going to do it, which is the main problem why people don't change their habits. And is it one of the things like when you look at your day and your week, is it more of just something like um, the main priority or the main one thing or a couple things that you want to get done for that day or, the, or how, how does that look? Yep. I got my habits list right here. Uh, I've got 10, my top 10 that I'm currently working on. Um, and I literally every single morning, you know, things change like, right. So you're going to, once you develop a habit, habits don't care if they're working for or against you, right. They're going to do their thing. They're going to compound over time. The problem is most of us, we get these bad habits. I call them failure habits going in the wrong direction, building negative momentum. They're hurting us every single day, but we may know, yeah, I shouldn't be doing this, but there's no catalyst, there's no spark, there's no accountability system to actually change them. So for me, what I, you know, I've found is effective is, you know, making sure I get those top ones that I'm working on and they're in my face. And when I'm looking at them every single morning and reminding myself, thinking about the previous day, like, how did I do? Um, it really helps to just spur the change. And I noticed that's for me, the best way to change my habits. Get moving, build momentum, join the movement. Go to moremomentum.com to take a free life evaluator quiz on where you currently stand in each of your five course.